And that is it. Beef rib, they'll probably fall right off the bone. Okay, so for this recipe, you're gonna need uh, a couple onions. So we're gonna go ahead and get those right now. I like to get the kind that are already peeled for you. So these are already peeled. We go with a red onion and a white onion. We're also gonna grab a bag of uh, Brussels sprouts and a bag of celery. I know it costs a little bit more, but I'm kind of in a rush, so that's what I'm doing. We're gonna need to get some potatoes now. Go ahead with these uh, these red potatoes. These look kind of big. Just gonna go ahead and get a smaller one. Uh, this will, these will do. Just get the potatoes. So we've got red potatoes, Brussels sprouts, celery, and onions. We need some red wine vinegar. We're gonna go ahead and grab this one right here, the big one. It's a uh, one quart, so 32 ounces. We also need some Worcestershire sauce. I'm not sure if that's over here or not, so we'll find that. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of this uh, Lee Perkins Worcestershire sauce. So 10 ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stir fry sauce. It's spicy, we need the heat. So the rest of the ingredients um, I already have at the house, so I'll show you those when I get home. And we'll start cooking. Well, we'll cook, start cooking in the morning. You're welcome. So the rest of the spices you're gonna need for the recipe, you're gonna need um, some chili powder. This stuff's from Fresh Time. Um, it's called smoked red jalapeno powder. It's essentially red jalapenos smoked and ground up. Some fresh ground black pepper. Some pink Himalayan salt. Some uh, ground red pepper, cayenne, and some bay leaves. So that is the spices you're gonna need um, and then the rest of the stuff that we mentioned before. So off to the cooking. A couple more ingredients that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, you're gonna need some sort of garlic. You can either do f fresh garlic or you can get the kind that's already minced up for you, which is what I did. And you need some extra virgin olive oil. So today we're gonna be making, boom, these bad boys that we picked up at Costco yesterday. Uh, there's one, two, there's four ribs. They're USDA prime beef, beef chuck short ribs. Uh, these aren't really technically short ribs. They're kind of long. Um, usually you would have them cut in half, but we're going to do the entire length today. So what we're going to do to start off is we're actually going to make the uh, the sauce that we're going to put over um, for the crock pot. So to start that, we're going to need to do is chop up some onions. Um, so again, we already have pre-peeled onions, which right here uh, take the stickers off because so you don't want to eat those obviously uh, and then we're going to go ahead and just trim these up a little bit so we're going to go ahead and chop that off and chop them in half as you guys know this is one of my favorite tools in the kitchen um, I don't know exactly what it's called but it was got it from Amazon it actually chops onions peppers uh, you name it It'll chop it up. Uh, we've made salsa with this before. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing tool. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these in. You lock it. And then it chops your onions up. See that? To the perfect size. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw these into this bowl. So again, you're gonna need two onions for this recipe. We're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process till all the onions are chopped up. Now that onions are completely chopped up like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of the <clears throat> wet ingredients. So as you know, we got red wine vinegar. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna put a cup and a half of red wine vinegar in there. There's a cup and a half. Well, we want to do a fourth of a cup of Worcestershire, so we're just going to go ahead and there's a little half cup mark in here, so we're just going to get that. Okay, half, fourth of a cup of Worcestershire. Wash off the tartar, and that's the, whatever it's called. A tablespoon of the garlic. Ooh, we're running a little low on that garlic. 
Okay. Like this. This is the spicy sauce that we got. Um, we're going to do a fourth of a cup of that. Ooh, smell that. Boom, fourth a cup of that. Or, I'm sorry, half a cup of this. What was I thinking? Half a cup of this. We're going to do um, two teaspoons of the, the smoked red jalapeno. One, two. Now we've got the uh, chili powder. We're going to do one teaspoon of that. We have our ground cayenne pepper. We're going to do one and a half teaspoons of that. And then of course we have our salt and pepper. So we're gonna go ahead and grind some salt up in there. Twenty grinds, and then we're gonna have the black pepper do the same thing. One, two. Okay. Now again, you can always add more salt and pepper later. Um, and then we go to go ahead and just mix this up. And then we set this aside and go on to the next step. Okay, so the next step of the recipe, we are going to actually um, brown or sear the ribs. So for this step of the recipe, what we're going to have to do is we need to put some extra virgin olive oil in the pan. Uh, just a little bit. That's probably too much, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, and then we just, you know, get this pan nice and hot. The pan's nice and hot. We're going to um, take the ribs. Usually there's a, like a little membrane on here. I like to peel off too. Damn it, I don't know why they didn't do this for me. So there's a little, see that membrane right there? We're gonna go ahead and peel that off. Set these in. We just want to go ahead and let those brown for about three minutes on each side. So they're brown on enough on all of the sides. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and take these and set them on a plate and go on to the next step. Okay, so the next step of this recipe is we're actually going to put the vegetables in the crock pot first. Um, then we put the meat on top of the vegetables so that at meat actually the fat drains down and it, it just flavors the vegetables a lot better. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open these up. We're just going to go ahead and chop it in half. Okay. Start with the base of celery. And we take our Brussels sprouts. And we can just put those in whole. Um, put about half a bag in there. Make potatoes, depending on how many you want. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and half them. I might, I might quarter them too. So cut them into force. And I'm going to put those in there. Stuck to the knife. Okay. And you know, you can add peppers for color, just it's all personal preference. So now on to the next step. Okay, the next step of this is we're going to actually take the ribs and we're gonna put them on top of the uh, vegetables. So the next step, the pan that we cook the uh, beef ribs and brown them in, we're gonna leave all the juices in there. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and take this mixture we made and we're gonna actually go ahead and pour this in here like so. We're gonna go ahead and let this simmer for about seven minutes it's been simmering for seven minutes so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to turn the stove off and we're going to transfer this into the crock pot so here we go okay we're going to, go ahead and dump this in just want to go ahead and kind of evenly distribute this okay <clears throat> now the last and final step, this is so important. I cannot stress enough, bay leaves. You have to put some bay leaves on there. They just really bring out the flavor. So what I'd like to do is put three or four. Put one right there, two, three, four bay leaves. And you're probably thinking, how long are we gonna, gonna set this for? So what we're gonna go do is we're going to turn the power on. We wanna set it to low and we want to run it for we're gonna set it for 12 hours. Uh, it should be done in 11, 10 to 11. So we'll just run it for 12. Hit start and do not take the lid off of this, whatever you do. The next thing you see will be the finished 
a recipe finished goodness so stay tuned okay guys the moment you've all been waiting for so it's been what are we put in for 11 hours it's been 10 and a half hours uh the wife is home from work the baby just ate now it's time for us to eat so we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off oh my god i don't know if you can see that but let me let me take this off the tripod my high school nickname oh yeah girl okay so anyway we're gonna go ahead and i'm talking to the fans so we're gonna go ahead and take one of these beef ribs out look at that they shrunk up a lot but Ooh. and that is it beef rib they'll probably fall right off the bone boom falls right off the bone look at that god you want two you're gonna want two I'll just throw the bone back in and then we'll go ahead and grab well that one just came right off the bone bone chaka laka laka so there we go that is how you make beef ribs in a zekrokopot um this is for the wife she doesn't like vegetables with hers so i'm gonna have vegetables in mine if you like the video please hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up and hit that bell notification so you know when we come out with more cooking videos and other amazing videos with our lovely daughter blake anyway uh i'm starting to ramble so six and four laugh peace and you're welcome